Hello everyone, my name is SN Patil. In this video lecture, we will discuss problem on cyclic group. The problem is show that the group Z7 under multiplication is cyclic group. The question is find all its generator, all its proper subgroup and order of every element. Okay. First of all, we write the group Z7. Let G is equal to let G is equal to so this is under multiplication. It can be written as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. And the 7 is identity that is one okay so here uh, you can write instead of one two three you can write one bar two bar three bar four bar five bar six bar now the first question is so the group g is a cyclic group the definition of cyclic group is a group g is said to be cyclic group if there exists element which generate the group G itself. Okay. So let us find the element which generate the group G. Okay. So what is uh, here the generator? Generator we define as a suppose A is generator means we generate the group is A raised to N such that N is integer. Now here 1 is identity element. So we start from the 2. Let us see whether 2 is generator or not. That is 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3, 2 raised to 4 and so on. Okay. So let us simplify here. So the 2 raised to 1 is 2. 2 raised to 2 is 4. 2 raised to 3 is 8. 8 modulo 7 that is the 1. Now here the 2 raised to 3. 2 raised to 3 is 1. Now if we multiply both sides 2 then 2 raised to 4 is equal to 2. Again we, rip, uh, we get the 2 number here. Again multiply we get the 4. Okay. That is 2, 4, 1 only three element of the generator 2. It is not generator, but it generate only 2, 4, 1 element. Okay. Now, next element 3. That is 3 raised to 1, 3 raised to 2, 3 raised to 3, 3 raised to 4 and so on. Okay. That is 3 raised to 1 is 3. 3 raised to 2 means 9 modulo 7 that is 2 okay now here simplification 3 square is equal to 2 now multiply both side 3 here that is 3 raised to 3 and here 6 3 into 2 6 now multiply both side 3 that is 3 raised to 4 here 18 okay and modulo 7. So here 18 divided by the 7. Okay. Then remaining remainder is 4. So 4 is here. Then multiplied both side 3. That is 3 raised to 5. And 3 into 4. That is 12. Modulo 7. Okay. So we get the 5. Now multiplied again 3. That is 3 raised to 6 and here 15 modulo 7 that is 1. Okay. Now see, see the 3 generate the group that is 3 generator. 3 is generator. Okay. And by definition, if the element generate the group G itself, then the group is called as a cyclic group. Hence, G is cyclic. 
G is cyclic. Okay. Now let us find the next element four. It can be written as four raised to one, four raised to two, four raised to three, and so on. That is the four raised to one is four. Four raised to two means sixteen, and modulo seven. That is the two. Okay. Uh, 4 is to 2, uh, that is the 2. Now multiply on both sides the 4. That is, it becomes 4 is to 3. And 4 into 2, 8, modulo 7, we get the 1. Again multiplied, we get the 4. That is, 4 to 1, again repeat. Hmm? Okay. Now next is 5. 5 is to 1. 5 raised to 2, 5 raised to 3, and so on. 5 raised to 1 is 5. 5 square is 25. 25 modulo 7. Okay. That is 4. 5 square is 25. And modulo 7 means 25 divided by the 7. Then the remainder is 4. Now multiply the both sides 5, that is 5 raised to 3. Here 5 into 4, 20. Okay. Modulo 7, that is we get the 6. Multiply both sides 5, that is 5 raised to 4. Here 5 into 6, 30. Modulo 7, 30 divided by 7, the remainder is 2. Multiply both sides 5, that is 5 raised to 5. Here 10, modulo 7, that is 3. Multiplied by 5, 5 raised to 6, 5 into 3, 15, modulo 7, that is 1. Okay. Now see the 5 generate the group G itself, 5 is generator. 5 is generator, 3 is generator. Now next element is 6. 6, it can be written as 6 raised to 1. 6 raised to 2, 6 raised to 3, and so on. So here, the 6 raised to 1 is 6. Then, 6 square is 36. Modulo 7. 36 divided by 36. 36 divided by 7. Okay. That is, remainder is 1. 6 square is equal to 1. Again, multiplied by 6. That is 6 raised to 3 equal to 6. So we get only two elements. So here, the first question we have completed show that the G is cyclic. So here the G is cyclic. Okay. The next question is find all its generator. The generator of the G. Generator. Generator of G. G means Z7. Okay, R, 3, and 5. There are only two generated. Now, next, proper subgroup. Proper and improper. Here, here, uh, 1 means identity, and G, these are the improper subgroup. Now, except these two remaining are the proper subgroup. Okay, so here, here, this is first proper subgroup. Suppose this is H1. H1. The element is 1, 2, 4. The second is again same. Okay, we already mentioned. The next one is uh, 5 is generated. Now next one is H2. Suppose this is the H2. The H2 is equal to 1 and 6. So, these are the two proper subgroup. Now, next, order of every element. Okay. So, what is definition? First, we dis discuss the definition of order of element. The order of element is order of element. Order of element is there exists list 
पॉजिटिव इंटीजर एन सच दैट ए रेस टू एन इज इक्वल टू आइडेंटिटी देन ऑर्डर ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू एन ओके ओके देर आर इलेमेंट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स ओके द वन इज आइडेंटिटी इलेमेंट द ऑर्डर ऑफ आइडेंटिटी इलेमेंट is one okay now next two so here uh, we already discuss here the generator here when we take the uh, two three power power of two is three see here uh, the power of the two here then we get the identity element that is Order of two is three. Order of two is a three. Now next, order of three. The three generator. Okay, if generator is there, then order of group and order of group and the generator power. the element of the generator whose power is same that is the generator is 3 therefore the order of 3 is 6 order of generator and order of group is same now next order of 4 order of 4 see here uh, the 4 raised to 1 is 4 4 raised to 2 4 raised to 2 that is 16 Modulo seven that is two, and then we multiplied by four that is eight, and then modulo seven, then one. So this is order of four. That is the power of four is three. The order of four is three. Now next order of five. Order of five. Five is generator. Therefore, its order is six. Okay, here see the order of five. Now last order of six. See here, the uh, first power six raised to one is six, and when we calculate the second power, that is six square. Six square is thirty six divided by the seven. The remainder is one. Okay, so this is the order of six. That is the six raised to two. We get the one by definition. That is the order of six is two. Okay, in this way we show the Z seven is cyclic group. We find all generator, its proper subgroup, okay, and order of every element, okay. Thank you, thank you for watching.